Welcome. For all you Photoshop lovers, this is how we're going to make our book back template using Photoshop. Now, the first thing you got to realize is that Photoshop really um, deter is determined, its qualities are determined by your resolution. And so we want to make sure that we have the right print resolution. Now, for anything that you're going to be holding on to in your hand, you want to use a resolution of 300 or above. Anything uh, too small, um, low, really lower than that, you'll end up uh, potentially showing some pixels and we don't want to do that so let's make sure we have the right resolution so we're gonna make a new document and we're gonna start with the resolution so make sure you change the resolution to 300 pixels per inch now what that's gonna do is make sure that we have the proper resolution for whatever size we're trying to make now the first thing we're gonna do is make this have a background color and we're just gonna give it a We'll give it white to start out with. That's fine. And uh, we need to think about just our front cover right now. Okay, so I'm going to do mine at 6.5 by 8.5. So I'm going to say 6.5 by 8.5. So this should make a uh, cover that, you know, is a normal size book cover. But, you know, there's a lot of different sizes. I shouldn't say normal because there's so many different sizes out there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start and click OK. So here, this is our front cover. Now, what I want to do just to kind of help myself out is I'm going to I'm going to change the color to something else. I'm going to just give it another color. Let's give it this um, purple color. It's fine. It doesn't matter what because we're just using this to set up our sections. So now we need to think about our flaps and our uh, spine and all that type of stuff. So in order to do that, what we want to do is add space to our canvas. Okay, so right now our canvas is the exact same size it was before. And we also want to see if we can um, also add some guides to this as well afterwards. Let's go ahead and add some space to our canvas. And you do image, canvas size. And we want it to get uh, an extra two and a half inches for the flap on the right. So we're going to check the box for relative, and we're going to just mess with the width. We don't mess with the height, we just mess with the width. And we're going to add 2.5 inches. Now, if I did it right now, it would add 2.5 this way and this way, because our arrows are well here in the middle. If I choose this left one, though, it means it's only going to grow to the right. So then I can choose the color I'd like it to be. I'm going to choose other, and I'm going to just make some other color. It it doesn't really matter what, I just um, need another color. So we'll make it green and we'll click OK. So now this is my uh, right flap. All right, now I need to create a spine. So we'll do the same thing again. We'll go image and we'll do canvas size. And this time we want to go to the left. So I'm going to click the right arrow and I'm going to add uh, 0.5 inches to the left. I'm going to change that color to something else. Let's see, how about a, I'm gonna, some type of an orange. All right, click OK. So now I have a small, uh, thin spine on my book. And then remember how big my image was to begin with? It was a six and a half. Well, I gotta do that again. So image, canvas size, and this time I'm gonna go more to the left, and I'm gonna add 6.5 inches, and this time I'm going to pick that same purple. And we'll click OK. And then we'll just go ahead and do one more image, canvas size, and we're going to add 2.5 inches once again for the back flap, and we're going to choose this color. So there we go. Now we have our design set up exactly into the sections we need. Now there's a reason why we did it with this. Uh, it's because sometimes with smart objects you tend to want to make your files really big and so we might need to work with them individually do the front cover by itself do the spine by itself so what I want you to understand is that to figure out how big you need to make yours the easiest way to do it is just to go back and click from this um, back template and get the cr proper size for a section so for example if I were to just click over here on the screen um, I need to turn on contiguous turn that off here so click on uh, the green turn on contiguous and you see how it just selects that green well I can just copy that and I'll make a new document 
And there you go. This is the size document I need for that back cover or that back flap. So you can easily create all the different sections. So I could save this one as, um, you know, right flap, right? I could go back to this. I could click on this guy, edit, copy, make a new document. And we could call this one spine and save it. So that way we can have all of our different uh, side sections ready to go. So I don't actually work directly on this document. I work on other documents and then I bring them back into this later if I need to. Another thing we could do to help us out is use guides. So remember you can use guides and so there's a couple different ways. You can uh, create a new guide at a particular inch mark. So I can say hey I want a vertical line at uh, 2 0.5 inches and I should get one over here on the left. Let's see what that does. Yep, there's one right there. And so you could do that to bring out guides. You can also tell it to show rulers and then you can drag a guide out and let it hit right on that spot and that'll help you as well set up your different things. You can also use horizontal guides to help make sure you don't go outside a particular amount of distance or to line up designs on one flap all the way to the other flap. So what I want you to do is make sure you save this as your book back template. Remember we're going to be using it again. We're going to be placing other things into it. If you're doing yours, make sure you don't use the exact same dimensions I'm doing because you might need different dimensions for your book. Use bigger sections if you want to have a fatter book. Skinnier sections if you're doing a picture book. And that's it for this video.